Welcome back. Today I want to talk about Terzepatide versus Wegovi, aka Semaglutide. Um, these two new-ish weight loss injectables, Terzepatide still under research. Um, things you want to look out for, what to consider, um, and then what is coming next. So let's look at this real quick. Surpass to Terzepatide trial compares Semaglutide, Wegovi to Terzepatide, and these are both injectable drugs for type 2 diabetes with some weight loss effects. So it's really fascinating stuff. If you don't know me, welcome. My name is Reggie. I am the founder of Fit for Freelance, where I build adaptive business leaders through compassionate health coaching. So wherever you're seeing this, please give me a like, um, subscribe, follow me for information. I love this medical science stuff. I also have a freelance medical writing company. Um, and I like to break this down for my health coaching clients so they understand. Um, and then to bring in new new audiences who want to understand more about what's going on in some of these weight loss uh, markets. All right, so June 2021 is August right now of semaglutide. Semaglutide, I can't really say it right, aka Wegovi, um, also Zempic is a semaglutide product. It was approved for weight loss. The link to my previous video, um, videos, I have a playlist even on this topic, will be in the description below. And then just recently, um, August 2021, Trisepatide surpassed two trial results were published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And that's also going to be in the description below. Um, reductions of body weight were greater with Trisepatide than with semaglutide. The um, average difference at 15 milligrams of Trisepatide versus one milligram of a semaglutide was 12.1 additional pounds of weight loss uh, with the Trisepatide. Okay, and then overall, the trisepatide lost an average of 27.3 pounds over four weeks. Um, the video I just posted um, goes over the full introduction to trisepatide. So I'll put that link in the description as well. Um, 27 pounds over 40 weeks, that is a lot of weight uh, for a weekly injectable jet, right? And then also in the Surpass 2 study, they found that in patients with type 2 diabetes, trisepatide was non-inferior and superior to semaglutide with respect to the mean change in a glycolated hemoglobin level from baseline 40 weeks. So it is a type two diabetes drug primarily. Um, and they found that it was better uh, basically than semaglutide in those results. So right now the early research is not approved yet. They're looking at some time next year, 2022, Terzepatide might be ready for um, mainstream or public consumption. Right, and it could be a valuable part of weight loss and diabetes treatment strategies. Now, I'm not a doctor; I'm a health coach. So, if you have questions about this, ask your healthcare provider. This is just an educational channel. Um, I do think it could be valuable. Um, these terzepatide, semaglutide, because they affect appetite, um, insulin, um, stomach emptying, basically. So, there's lots of um, impacts that could affect your weight and could make a difference. The question I have for you is would you get weekly weight loss injections? I think this is a fun question to ask because I, to me, I would probably not do that. But if my doctor was recommending it, um, I probably would do it. So um, let me know what you think you might do um, from your current perspective in the comments below. I like to make this engaging. Um, and then, however, even though these early results are promising, they compared uh, terzepatide to Wegovi and semaglutide. Um, there is something you want to be careful for um, that the surpass to terzepatide trial was sponsored by terzepatide company Eli Lilly. So they have, um, they want to make their medication look good um, compared to other drugs, basically. So it's something you want to be mindful of. Um, even if they play it really clean, they don't have any incentive um, not to, you know, make sure the stats are in their best interest in making terzepatide look good. And then that is kind of apparent with two, where it says studied doses of Wegovy to semaglutide. Um, those go up to 2.4 milligrams per week, not one milligram. And in the Surpass 2 trial, they only did one milligram of um, semaglutide. Um, and then they compared that and they're like, well, if you did it even, if you had an equal comparison, um, then you would know more about how the medications compare based on the dosage, right? Or how they're intended to be used. So what we need is more study and even um, comparison 
instead of kind of, you know, one milligram this versus the 2.4 it was supposed to be compared to like the full dosage of our um, novel medication that we're researching. And it's also not approved yet. So lots of things to keep in mind there that you could miss if you just read the headline um, that the might make it sound like terzepatide is definitely better than we go via semaglutide in terms of controlling type 2 diabetes or um, weight loss. Okay. And something I talked about in my other video, it's not necessarily about um, just losing the weight because you're going to lose weight as long as you're on that, probably, as long as you're on these medications, these injectable drugs. But if you come off of these, you're likely to um, gain that weight back because you haven't changed your health habits. You don't have that mindset and goal setting um, in practice that I like to emphasize with the guilt-free framework to come back stronger um, and more healthy. Okay. So if you don't want to wait a year for weekly injections to lose weight, you want to check out the links in my description. I have a few ways that you can get started with guilt-free framework um, in terms of like a recipe guide that's free. You have health habits, tryouts. I have a free body workout game plan and all that's in the description below. Um, so just some things to consider with terzepatide, semaglutide, we go via Ozempic. Um, you want to make sure you're comparing these things evenly um, and ask your healthcare provider for more insight. But this is just a little YouTube sampler. Um, that's all I have for today. If this makes sense, uh, that's because it takes time to break that down for you. So I'd really appreciate a like um, and subscribe for more health-based, guilt-free weight loss um, content. Appreciate you for watching. Keep practicing. Peace.